Welcome back to Unicorn Funland. I'm Michaela Andromeda. If this is your first time here with me, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I got your November general read here ready. I got your mojo on the cards. If you need any information about my site, about my channel, bookings, my website, my social media, my GoFundMe campaign, everything is right down below in the description. Check that out at your own discretion, but we're going to go ahead and get into your monthly reading for November. Aries! Let's get it! Aries, November 2018, Spirit. Eddie. Spirit be bending up my cards, y'all. I'll be like, bending up my cards, Spirit. It's like, not playing. November 20 at 10. Okay. Got some stuff flipping up here. Showing me a little bit of what's going on with you this month, Aries. Aries. Some other ones. Whoa. <laughs> it like glided down. It was just like, ah. You see that, Aries? This is your overall energy of the month, okay? More spiritual awakening stuff. Yay! <laughs> I mean, not necessarily. This can go so many ways. I mean, this can this can just be an offer for, for some of you. Um, but it's always participate with spirit. That's the general message of the card. But um, this is this for some of you, I'm feeling it even. For some of you, there's some kind of offering that's coming in, um, some kind of offering from spirit, um, some kind of offering from whatever your passions and ambitions are. So those of you who have been trying to start um, your own company or your own business or something, it's feeling like there's some kind of offer that's coming in. Hang on. So accept whatever is being offered to you. That's your general energy of the month. First week. Ah. You may have gone. <laughs> you may have gone through. Um, you may have like recently come through like this really really dark time. I'm seeing some of you. Some of you. This dark time has lasted like a couple of months. This is the end of that dark time. <laughs> this is traveling through. I always associate this this um, verse. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I always uh, associate that with this card. But it's almost like this, this valley is ending. This valley is giving way to the light. <laughs> I'm just like, because I've been tracking Aries. I've been tracking Aries and I'm just looking at how your reading is looking right now. So, while, <laughs> while this is the end, not the end of everything, but while this is the end of, um, of this kind of struggle that you've been going through for these past couple of months, general reading, guys, while, while that's the end, you may want to overthink about it. You may want to overthink about the next step. Some of you are like feeling lighter, feeling feeling things starting to lighten up. And then your your mind starts spinning again. Okay. You can't help it. You guys are innovators. Your minds are going to spin. But try not to let it spin out of control. Um, try not to let it spin you into anxiety or depression. Because some of you are are very much at risk <laughs> for that happening. So try try not to think too much about it. 
Um, there, there's, there's some of you who during, during this valley of the shadow of death, um, you found yourself like restrained in some kind of way. Like some of you have restrained yourself. You've restrained what you're saying, what you usually say you, you're maybe restraining some kind of sarcasm or some kind of, uh, uh, character attribute that most people don't like you've been restraining that and you need to be letting that out again because that's like your true self and <laughs> you have to be showing your true self like I know I'm sounding silly but if you're one of those people if this resonates with you and you've been restraining yourself because of some kind of some kind of character attribute that somebody else thinks is a flaw then you need to be letting that out you need to be releasing yourself again okay um, because this is still the first week of the month, and this is this is being one with your experience. So whatever whatever thoughts you're thinking about, oh my goodness, whatever is being offered to you, because Aries, something is being offered to you as well. Collaborate with a Sagittarius if you need to talk to a Sagittarius if you have one in your life. If that resonates with you, because they're needing to be one with their experience as well. They didn't get this card, but they're needing to be one and be in the moment. But um, this is being one with your experience. This is also ships coming in. So while you're being, while this month you're being offered something, and you're being you're being offered something from spirit, and you're being asked to participate with that offer. You're also being asked to actually experience that offer. Um, some of you, this experience is just going to come up. It's going to come to fruition. Some of you are going to hear about this kind of experience. And then you're going to need to take action. A lot of you are going to need to take action. Some kind of business action. Make some kind of, some kind of um, business move. As far as your experience. Because the... Oh my goodness. There's like a, oh, okay, I'm not seeing any of this in the cards, but like there's, there's something, oh my goodness, there's something like really big that's about to come into your life financially. What is it? Second week of the month. Oh gosh. Guys, this journey is your own hence this card be one with the journey be one with the journey be one with the experience be one with whatever it it's is being offered to you whatever whatever <laughs> is coming in just experience it just experience it oh my goodness i'm rolling my eyes because like a lot of you are just doing too much of this. A lot of you are just doing too much thinking about it when you actually already have the answer and you already know what you're supposed to be doing and you know what the next move is. But you're looking at other people, possibly general reading during the second week of this month, you may be looking at other people and wondering why you're not in the same place or why, why they're better or worse off than you. Not necessary because that is just a part of you. That's just a part of you. That is part of your experience. Seeing other people. Seeing other people succeed. Seeing other people fail. And the most important thing, when you see the, those, those distinguishments. And dis is that a word? When you see those distinguishing characteristics between people's lives, remember that by the grace of God, there go I. Or that's just another version of me if that's another way you want to say it. Okay? Because that's it. It's just another version of you. Even if it's something that you're striving for, it's another version of you. And please, during this second week, while you're figuring out how to not compare your journey to anybody else's, try not to reject what is going on inside of you because this is necessary. If, you're, if you get thrown into a situation where you have to be by yourself, be there and try not to text people. To come over and to talk and to party and to hang out because if you if you're if you're thrown into a situation where you're alone then you need to be alone and you will be forced to be alone like that i mean i'm not saying the universe is gonna hold you down but you're gonna start calling and texting people to come over and nobody's gonna be available you need to be spending some time with yourself during this last week or excuse me during this second week 
of November. Okay. Don't ignore that beautiful light inside. Let's get those emotions out again. Give those emotions back to God. Give them back to spirit. And experience spirit again. Experience spirit emotionally. That will give you power. Eight. That will give you a sense of power. That will give you a sense of emotional power. If you release and surrender all of your emotions to whatever you believe in, that will give you a sense of power and not even just a sense of power. It will give you a certain kind of stability in your emotions. It will, man, it's double stability. That's what I always call it, eight. Double stability. It will give you double times the stability in your emotions that you need. And it'll give you power. I'm telling you guys, collaborate with spirit. <laughs> Talk to your guidance. Because these are emotions. This second week, these are emotions that need to go. They need to go. They need to go and be surrendered and transmuted into something else. And you'll find this. You'll find what needs to be surrendered and transmuted when you're able to go inside. When you finally make time for yourself to go inside during the second week. Y'all, I'm going to finish up this reading in the extended version. Click the link down below in the description to get access. And I'll see you over there. Bye!